Greetings, Hoodoo family. I hope everyone is doing well and having a good Hoodoo journey. I want to share with you something that I use in my Hoodoo practice that I've come to love and just rely on, and that's formulas. But before I go into this, please don't forget to purchase your copy of my 2024 Hoodoo Almanac. There's a lot of great information for you to use throughout the year and the coming year. Support my work. It would mean so much to me and help me to preserve our hoodoo heritage. So go to my website and order your copy today. Years ago, I had a limited public practice in my home, just a few secret clients. And I had shelves upon shelves full of all kinds of roots and herbs. And I didn't even use half of these. And after so long, many of the roots and herbs, they lose their spirit. So it was just very wasteful for me to keep over 100 roots and herbs on hand. Since then, I stick with some of the main traditional roots and herbs that our ancestors used. And I also use formulas. Now, a formula is a combination of roots and herbs that works for a specific purpose. And it's just a few jars. So if you live in a small space like I do, or maybe you're practicing in secrecy and you want to keep your, um, your roots and herbs secret, this is very perfect. This, this will work great for you. So let me show you what I have. So these are six of my main formulas that I use constantly in my hoodoo work. And these are, I think like half gallon jars. But as you can see what I've done, I've labeled them on the tops of the jars. Like this one is prosperity. I have a formula for love. I have one for power and this one I often mix with the others. Then I have my protection formula, I have a money formula, and a home formula. This is for home blessing and protection. So these are the six formulas that I work with. Now I do have smaller jars of other uh, nature spirits that I will add to these sometimes, depending upon the purpose. But this is my primary stock. And as you can see, I have lots of different ingredients mixed in here. So just wanted to show you my formulas just to give you an idea and some of these are some of them are kind of old so this year I will be taking some of these out of the jars and adding fresh new um, spirits in the jars and let me show you some with this uh, the power a lot of it is just now ground down to powder and I need to get some of that out of there because I like to work with whole roots and whole leaves as much as I can 
So this is a jar that I will definitely be um, restocking this year. And as you can see, it takes up less space. You don't have to have a whole rack or shelf full of jars when you work with formulas. So this has really been helpful to me um, because when I'm doing like a love mojo, I can just go here and pull out the herbs that I need. Same with prosperity, a prosperity mojo, money mojo. If I'm doing a burning herb ritual, maybe I'm doing a burning herb ritual for my family. I can use this home. I can um, use the home formula, some of the ingredients out of here, and I can mix it with prosperity. I can mix it with money, protection, or love. If there's a lot of fussing going on in the household, I can mix the home with the love. I can mix money and prosperity together to combat bad luck. I can mix power with love to make my love formula even more powerful, especially if I'm targeting a specific person. I can mix that power with any of these to make it even stronger. I can use the power by itself. I can mix justice roots with this hickory nut and so many others with this power to make it into a justice formula. So I just wanted to show you my formulas that I use.